Now here, this is one of the Wahhabi's strongest fallacies we're about to mention now. So among their strongest fallacies is producing the hadith of the slave girl. And among their strongest fallacies is this what we're about to mention now. The meaning of the saying of Allah be a day in Surah Sad Ayah 75 Allah said Ya Iblis ma mana'aka an tasjuda lima khalaqtu bi yadayi which means oh Iblis what prevented you from prostrating to what I created be a day the word be a day apparently means with my two hands so for the Wahhabis, this is very clear and explicit. They said, it doesn't mean my two powers. It doesn't mean my two cares. It doesn't mean my two endowments. It, they say, it means my two hands, be a day. However, it may have other meanings. It doesn't only mean with my two hands. Some scholars said that it was mentioned that Adam was created be a day he with the yadain of Allah as an expression of drawing attention to his special honor because to the contrary Iblis was created by Allah but it is not mentioned that he create he was created be a day meaning how some scholars explain the ayah they said ma manaka an tasjuda lima khalaqtu bi yadayi what prevents you from prostrating to what I created via day? They said this ayah means that Adam has a higher status than Iblis. That's how they explain the ayah. They say this ayah shows that Allah has a, that the that Adam has a higher status than Iblis because Allah created Adam and He created Iblis. But he only said about Adam that he created him be a day, and he didn't say that about Iblis. But they were both created by Allah. So then Adam is the one with a, with a special honor. He has a special merit over Iblis. Iblis was created by Allah, but it is not mentioned that he was created be a day. We are not allowed to say it means two hands because that would be explicitly comparing Allah to the humans. It's, it's weird that the Wahhabis don't understand that. They say you have to take it by the apparent meaning, and they say this means Allah has two hands, and he's not like the creation. How they could put those together in their minds. Ibn Hajar narrates from some of the scholars, this verse was put forth to facilitate an understanding, for it is known that whoever takes care of something and has interest in it, attends to it with both hands. It is thus understood from that that the heed given to the creation of Adam was more perfect than that of other creations. It means similar to, this, to what was previously mentioned. It means the creation of Adam is with a special honor. They said, it is known that whoever takes care of something and has interest in it attends to it with both hands. So this verse is to make one understand that Adam has a special merit. The fact is that the dual form of the word does not always denote a pair. An example is the saying in Al-Hajj, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, meaning, Oh Allah, I am quick in responding to your order in Hajj. Or, Oh Allah, I obey you time, time after another. Yani, I obey you again and again, O Allah. Labbaik. But if you want to be very literal, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, it means your two obediences, O Allah, your two obediences. Because Allab is a ta'a. A ta'a means obedience. Allab is a ta'a. Literally would say your two obediences. And for sure, two is not meant here. No one would say that. No one would say that only two obediences are mentioned here, are meant here. Sometimes the dual form of the Arabic word may refer to importance of something, swiftness to act, or the recurrence of something more than twice. 
for something to happen over and over again. Like the verse in the chapter of Al-Mulk, which apparently means, look twice, using the dual form, but actually it means, look time and time again at the creation of Allah. Because the Wahhabis believe that this verse is very clear evidence that Allah has two real hands and what has been presented surely is not convincing for them. All of what we said for Wahhabi really means nothing. He says, this is a bunch of, that's a bunch of garbage. You're just playing with the ayah. That's what he would say to us. Then we smack them with a clear refutation by citing the 71st verse of Surah Yasin. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّا خَلَقُنَا لَهُمْ مِمَّا عَمِلَتْ أَيْدِيْنَا أَنْعَامًا It means, did they not think about how we created livestock for them? But apparently it says, did they not think about, did they not think that we created for them from what we have done with our hands? And it's in the plural form, more than two. Aidina, because you know in Arabic you have mufrad, yad, muthanna, yadan, and jama, aid. So jama is how much? Three or more. In Arabic, jama is three or more. In Arabic, mufrad is one, muthanna is two, and jama is three or more. So the ayah says. مِمَّا عَمِلَتْ أَيْدِينَا So it's the plural form, aid, not the singular form and not the dual form. So in Arabic, the plural form is for counting items from 3 to 10. Once it goes past 10, then you go back to the another form, mufrad. So, then what did what they do with this ayah? That's the point here. We say to Wahhabi, what do you say with this ayah? Because what is he going to say? He's going to say, Allah said, Bima khalaq, Lima khalaqu tu biyadayi. He's going to say, I know Arabic, and biyadayi is the dual form, and it means my two hands. He's going to say, It's not singular and it's not jama'. It's dual. So it means two. So then we give him this ayah. Min ma amilat aydina. So what do you do with that, Wahhabi? What is he going to do? Because it's jama, it's not dual and it's not singular. So what is he going to do? And here he's, not, he's going to definitely contradict himself now. Because the, what is he going to do? If he take this ayah by the apparent meaning, he has to confirm more than two. Then, then what does be a day mean? So what is he saying? That Allah has many hands? So just two of them, he created Adam according to him, and then the rest were just like wiggling around or something? <laughs> or he, well, according to them, he used two of those hands to create Adam, and, and with, with one of them he was scratching his head, with the other two he was putting them in his pockets. What, what's going on here? A'udhu <laughs> Billah. One hadith or verse would apparently say that he has one hand, yet... Yadu Allahi fawqa aydihim That's mufrad, singular form And another would apparently say He has two Bal yadahu mabsutatan And another would apparently say He has three or more So why did they not say He has six or more hands Because mufrad is one Muthanna is two Jama is three or more At least three so why they don't say he has at least six hands by merging all the evidence? Is it that they have the belief of the Hindus and they don't want to confess? You know, the Hindus believe in the ele elephant-headed guy with six arms, and they believe also in the lady with all the arms. The, the correct belief is that Allah has attributed with al-yad. So here, now it's very clear for us. Allah has attributed with al-yad. You don't, you don't have to say more than that. For sure, it doesn't mean hand. It is not an organ, and Allah knows its reality. So what would Wahhabi say after that? What he's going to say is, Akhi, you're not supposed to go there. Just believe what Allah said. 
That's the only thing you can say. May Allah bless Abu Hassan al Ash'ari, whom the scholars followed in defending the belief of the Muslims. Let us end this section with Surah Sad, Ayah 45, that Allah says, وَاذْكُرْ عِبَادَنَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْكُوبَ أُولِي الْأَيْدِي وَالْأَبْصَارِ It apparently says, Remember our slaves Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who had hands and vision. أُولِي الْأَيْدِي They had hands. وَالْأَبْصَارِ And vision. In the Wahhabi mistranslation, the Wahhabi book called the, the Noble Quran, they make ta'wil for this ayah, <coughs> and they say it means they had strength in religious understanding. If you look in the way the Wahhabis translated this ayah, ulil aidi wal abisar, they will say they had strength and religious understanding. So they made ta'wil for the creations who really have hands, because they really have hands, the prophets really have hands. So what stopped them from interpreting the ayah as those who had hands, because they really had hands. But for Allah, who is supremely exalted beyond the descriptions of men, they, they insist on the literal meanings. For Allah, they said, la, it just means hands. And for the creatures who really have hands, they said, it doesn't mean hands.